Hello, my name is Nikolai, and in today's video, I'll walk you through one of the biggest updates yet in Lumina Neo. I'm gonna show you how to edit on all of your devices at the same time. I'm gonna start editing the photo on my phone, and then we're gonna go back to the computer to finish off the edit. Let's explore how this works. So we've now come into the Lumina app on the mobile phone, and you can see on top here, you have what's called Lumina Spaces. This is what shares the photo across all my devices. And if we go into the photo, we can start editing on my phone. And we're just gonna do some basic adjustments out here. Then when we come back, we're gonna do some more advanced things to make it look how we want to. The first thing we're gonna do is add some contrast to the photo because it's very flat now. And we're just gonna turn this up a tiny bit. Then we can go into the develop raw here and we can turn down the blacks a bit, the shadows as well and then maybe just the exposure up a tiny bit and the highlights we're gonna turn down a bit and the whites we're gonna keep here, so on minus 25. And then I'm gonna go in and turn the saturation down a tiny bit. The last thing we're gonna do out here is go into the Relight AI and we're just gonna move this up and down a bit until we, we think it's nice and I really like it here. And then we're gonna turn up the brightness as well. And now we can go back and then it's gonna sync up to all of my accounts. So if you log into the same account on your phone and then on your computer, it's gonna show the photos with all the adjustments made there. So now we're gonna go back to the computer and finish up the edit. We've now come home to my home setup on my computer and I want to keep on editing the same photo with the adjustments I just made outside. So let me show you how it works inside of Lumina Neo's desktop app on the computer. All right, so now we're inside the Lumina Neo app on my desktop. And on the left side here, you can see a few different folders. We are gonna go into the one called Lumina Mobile because it's already imported it automatically from my mobile phone onto the desktop app. And when we import it into a catalog, you can see all the adjustments we made is automatically synced up from my mobile phone app to my desktop app here. So we click on the photo and then we're gonna import it into a catalog here. It's gonna put it down into folders with the one called Space Imports. And as you can see, this is the original DNG raw file and this is with the adjustments that we've made outside. So we're quickly just gonna finish the edit now and then we're gonna show you how you can share it on the new Spaces tab inside of Lumina Neo. The first thing I want to show on this edit is a tool called Light Depth here. We can turn it up and you can see it adjusts the lights in some part of the photo. And down here you can see it analyzed the photo and you can see that the mountain that's actually here is down here so you can move where the light is gonna be added. I kinda wanna add the light here where there is a person in the photo. So we're gonna pull that up a tiny bit as well again. We're gonna put in some softness so it's not too visible, but you can still feel that there's some light here. And then we're gonna up the warmth of the light there as well. Other than that, I want the overall image to be a bit more warm. So we're gonna go into the landscape tool here and we're gonna turn up the golden hour a bit. You can see there's some more golden colors in the sun over here and then also on the sand down here. Lastly, I wanna go in and fine tune the colors. So we're going into the HSL tab over here and we're gonna play around with the orange color because I want them to be a bit more orange. So the hue, we turn the orange a bit down. The yellows, we're gonna turn over on the orange side as well. And then we're gonna go into the saturation tab lastly, turn them down a tiny bit because I think it's a bit too saturated now. And then lastly, we're gonna turn the magenta and the purple down because I really don't like those colors. In this, yeah, we're basically done with the edit. I'm gonna show you a before and after on the screen now. The last thing now is we're gonna publish it into the new feature called Spaces. And this is where you can share it with your friends, you get a link so people can see the photos you've edited. You right click on the photo and then you press on Publish to Space and then you press New Space. I'm gonna call this Morocco and then I'm gonna press Publish. And now we've created a space where I can share all my photos from Morocco. And then when I'm done with it, you can send it to your friends or you can send it to someone you want to show your photos from this specific place or specific shoot you've done. You can also open it on a website and then you can see it out there. This new feature with the cross device editing in the Lumina ecosystem is a game changer when you're traveling a lot and you have all these travel photos where you take the photo and you have a really good idea for the edit and you just want it to, to get it done as fast as possible. You can make some of those adjustments on your phone when you actually take the photos and then later finish the edit on a bigger screen on your computer. Other than adding this cross editing tool, they also added a restoration tool down here. So if you have old photos from your old cameras, either on film or Polaroid, 
you can take a photo of it, import it into Luminar Neo, and it's gonna create the best version of how you want to restore that photo. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I definitely see myself using this in the future when I'm on my travels and want to edit a photo on the go. Make sure to like the video and comment down below how you're gonna use this new tool, Luminar Neo, in the future. I'll see you very, very soon.